every city can do that. Only some of the city can do that at present. And this one is for the AI uh, HIV, HIV AIDS. In 2004, we also re received an award from the UN AIDS because of the excellent contribution for fighting against HIVs. And here are some of the uh, programs that uh, we fight against uh, HIVs during this period. Okay, here are the antiviral treatment for HIVs in our province. Now the trend has already been changed. Previously, the injection uh, is the biggest problem for transmitting the HIVs, but now uh, the sexual transmission route is the main route in our province now. And here are the public health emergency management um, structure and also some of the exercise and drill and practice from them and also uh, some of the photo that uh, when we establish in the national public health emergency team. And here is a word from our director, knowing what to prepare at peacetime, so knowing how to respond during emergencies. Um, this is for some of the photo for the exercise of our public health emergency team. Uh, last year, we also participated in the contest of the national level uh, competition and we won the first prize. <laughs> this is the winner. They take a photo at that time. And we try to make our uh, equipment become inform informatized, informatized and also vehicle based and try to make everything built on the command information system. And this is for the laboratory introduction. And we have uh, different kinds of laboratories, including the physical and chemical laboratory, and P3, toxicology laboratory, uh, vector bio, bio laboratory, and parasitic laboratory. Okay. We'll have a conference or uh, video we call. Successfully, successfully undertaken the risk assessment task for Guangdong, for the whole Guangdong province. And we generate a report with different sectors together and finally hand it in to Guangdong provincial government. So they will. Uh, evaluate and also to make that decision based on our evaluation. And here is the first prize that our group won for the Fu One Disease uh, Technology uh, Recognition and Application System. Here is the medals. So this is the Healthy China 2030. So China has now is working towards the Healthy China 2030. So NCD and health promotion become very important because of this policy. And here shows uh, some of the um, demonstration areas for the healthy city and also NCD comprehensive central and prevention areas. And we also conduct the 3D and 3, 3H uh, healthy lifestyles, that is uh, decreased salt, decreased oil, and decreased sugar. Healthy oral cavity, healthy weight, and healthy bones. Yeah. And over here, the, there is a, a very great, we, we think uh, after some, so many years of public health work, the health promotion and health education is very important. So we not only have our official website, and this, this is our official website, and we also have a um, um, sure. database for uh, the public to search on. That, that, that's named um, Health Online, Health Online. And we also have an official WeChat account releasing the health information every work day in order to let the public know how to live a healthy life and healthy 
Excuse me, the website, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it provision for non, non Chinese like English? It is the Chinese version, but for the WHO Collaborating Center, we have a function area here. Okay, and it has yeah, bilingual. Okay, okay, okay. And so this is the uh, future aim for us to build, to build a three uh, health innovative platform. Uh, one is for the um, research center for testing, a creative and innovation center. And the other is for the risk assessment alert and emergency disposal technology. And the third is for the prevention and control technology for really, the uh, innovation in a research center over there. And also we would like to uh, cultivate the talents uh, with different kinds of ways, including international collaboration and having the collaboration with the universities and also to work with other sectors to cultivate uh, our talents. And we also try to work with uh, hospital and educational sectors and also some physical sectors and with other relevant uh, departments together. And here are some of the uh, important points that we would like to let you know. At national level, we have the emergency response team and we have the postdoctoral program. And we also have the collaboration center with China CDC. Uh, this is all the uh, branch that we already show on at the, at the game. And here comes the, a very important point for WHOCC. WHOCC is WHO Collaborating Center. We have been since uh, we are designated as a CC in 2005. Every four years, uh, WHO will redesignate different collaborating centers, and we successfully are being designated for uh, four, four terms. Now it is the fourth term. Three times successfully, and this is the fourth term, yes. This term is from 2017 to 2021. And here are some of the uh, collaboration, international collaboration with Griffith University in uh, Australia and you also with the New York State University in, U in the US. And this year we also accept some of the trainees from the Pacific Island. This, this uh, trainees is from uh, PNG. Uh, yes. Papua New Guinea, yes. And we also become one of the lab for OECD also in this year. Okay. And you have a look at here. This, this, this voice for vision. Yeah. Uh, the we, center for this in prevention. Order to fight against the in the future, we do our self-examination with have these tables. This? Yeah, because uh, in, at the beginning of 2018, WHO released uh, eight very important, oh, nine, nine very important uh, disease that might generate large-scale outbreak in the world. And we try to examine ourselves whether we have in, enough or uh, competent uh, capacity to fight against this, and we think we can. <laughs> so. Uh, at, at the end, our, our director said, here comes the future, here comes the change. The world will be better because of the change, and we will become stronger. Yeah. <laughs> I think the same thing will also fit for your own country if you work hard. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. This information is from the uh, Center for Disease Prevention of the Guangdong Province here in Guangzhou, China. Now you can see a lot of display of innovation, historic perspective is defining. Now the capacity is extraordinary and the competence is unquestionable. And that's why they've been able to combat a lot of diseases around the region despite the population of 1.3 billion people. Now the, China has the lowest level of outbreaks of diseases. Why? Because of the readiness of capability and capacity at all levels of interface and the synergy as expected. I think this is where Nigeria need to interface with the government of China in order to bridge the gap in our healthcare system and disease prevention and control as well as treatment. This is John John Lukets. 
from Guangzhou, prov Guangzhou, Guangdong province, and here you can see that the tour of the facility continues with the professors here discussing. Yes.